All right, so uh, we're gonna have a super quick little drawing lesson here. Um, for most people who quit uh, drawing, who feel like they can't draw, uh, most people decided that about themselves when they were about the age of um, eight or nine, when they uh, realized they couldn't draw nose or, or hands. So noses and hands are the two things that make people believe they can't draw at a very early age. Um, so by nine, you just think, I can't draw a nose, I can't draw hands, I'm washed up. Um, but if you think about it, um, comics can leap right over that problem. And if you think about, if you imagine Charlie Brown or Bart Simpson with this hyper-realistic nose and hyper-realistic hands, that would be kind of horrible, right? Um, you sort of need, for certain characters, you need really simple lines. And so that's why I think anybody can draw comics. If you can write the alphabet, you can have all the shapes you need to make comics. So, but when people quit drawing, um, they, uh, they still will draw a person, but they draw a person like this, right? You know that guy. Um, the thing about this guy, there's a lot of problems with this guy, but one of the things is he can only do this, right? Which means he can only get like frisked uh, by the cops or stop traffic or something. Um, but there's another way of drawing, uh, of drawing a character um, that is just as easy, just as fast, well not quite as fast, but almost as fast, and will actually be able to get you somewhere. And this is actually based on how kids draw, but it was isolated, this style was isolated by a, a colleague of mine named Ivan Brunetti, who's a great cartoonist. And so, um, so pretend this is your piece of paper. Um, I always ask people to draw a frame because there's something about uh, knowing which is sort of the place where something alive is going to happen and which area is uh, the paper. Uh, interestingly enough, most people have that reversed with your, if you're doodling and you're um, at, a, at a meeting, most people feel like this is the place where a drawing can happen. They draw in the margins. This time we're going to flip it. So in Brunetti's style, um, uh, a character has a big round head um, and instead of a stick for the body, you can put any kind of shape. I like to use a little, sort of a little wedge shape. So we have a big head and this little body. Um, and instead of having these straight stick arms, um, Brunetti talks about giving them a little bit of curve or flare. So here we have, you can kind of see this is beginning to make a person shape. Um, comics uh, don't have to be, and often shouldn't be, I think, in proportion. Um, like the basic human proportion, they're, they're sort of different. It's sort of like emotional proportion. So you can think about um, how faces are so important to us, and maybe this is why this is this head so big on little kids' drawings. So here we have this, and so human beings are kind of built to recognize upright bodies and upright faces. So anything that's in the area of um, head, uh, trunk, arms, and legs is that's going to read as that. So um, for hands, instead of flipping out about hands, um, I remember asking a, a five-year-old how to draw hands. Five-year-olds will always give you good um, drawing lessons. And she said, oh, hands are easy. It's snowball, thumb, 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 thumb. That's fine with me, snowball, thumb, 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 thumb. And anything that's kind of looking like a little bit like a shoe, at the end of that little, these noodle legs, will read as that. So I'm going to turn this um, character into me. Um, Brunetti talks about just having rudimentary shapes for noses um, and mouths and eyes. So I just do a little sort of look like that. Line for a mouth and here. So there's. <laughs> I'm looking kind of mad. I like that. That's the other thing about comics is they they come with their own disposition. But I'm going to turn this into me. So. What are some of the things that are sort of cartoony about me? Well, I have glasses. Put those. And another thing kids will show you is um, how to draw an ear. Ears are also hard, but kids will just tell you, oh, it's the letter C uh, with a question mark in it. Um, so, and then I wear lipstick. So let's make this. I've already changed my mood a little bit. Um, here's my bangs. Um, wear a little bandana. 
like these little braids. And a kind of double chin. You know how about how old I am here. And um, so here I am, that's kind of a, a caricature of me. Um, now I so now I'm gonna make myself be in outer space, which is super easy to do. Just draw a helmet <laughs> on and a little jetpack. And then how do you show you're in space? Well, you put Saturn. Saturn is the uh, international symbol for you are now in space. And a couple stars. And your rocket. And basically you can do a drawing like this in um, two and a half minutes easily. So, if you're willing, set a timer for two and a half minutes and draw yourself blasting off into space.